You see, people are addicted to Facebook and internet for mere shamanistic values. Uh, humans have a natural way of wanting to always connect with one to the next, to the other, to the other. And we're whores like that to where we want to connect to the entire world simultaneously. That's cheating. You can't do it that way. See, here's the issue. The human brain is a, tra is a transmitter <coughs> for your body and what's out. If you were to take your skull off and just have your brain bare, it'd be, it would whack out. It would be just... It, w it would be mental, a true mental illness. Doctors can't figure it out, but it's because it's letting in too much and, and it, it, it can't filter, and the whole world comes at them. Now, when we die, on that moment we become in touch with every soul on the planet again from where we started. When we're born, we're just trying to get back to where we came from. That's why this flesh holds us down, bound to the earth, from gravity. There's no gravity when you're out of your body. Gravity's only existence is in a human form. As a spirit, if you would like to call it that, it's free from such a thing. Friction of gravity cause your issue. Keep that in mind. You might have to not go on Facebook for a while. Yeah? Let me ask you. Were you on Facebook? Then you got off? Then you seen your visions? I don't know. You need to think about this. It's like your skull is not there. You need to have it back. It's a virtual skull. It's a thought. Thought. As soon as you free yourself from any will of wanting to know and be all, as soon as you drop that, you're like a deer in the woods, free. <coughs> a free deer in the woods is not the best thing in the world and the most potent. They can run on the road and be killed by car. If you free yourself as a deer in the woods, you can just dance like Charlie Manson. Hence, the fire, the tribe, the dance around it, Africa, Old America, the Celtics, Australia, Aborigines, all do the same. Pyramids are all over the earth. That's when gravity comes down to the tip of the pyramid and is spread out evenly to the ground. And there's a part in the pyramid where you can put your brain in the pyramid and they have a room that does it. They don't tell you about that. Actually, they know about the shaft and the pyramid. They don't know what it's for. It's for that right there. It's for when you, you can't filter the, 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 you can't filter the outward knowledge, which is what you don't know. Because it's all coming at you to teach you to, so you can know. And it wants to give it to you. The day you die, you're all ever knowing knowledge. You know it all. It's given to you. The blueprints. You can learn where you come from and where you're going. Each of us becomes sort of a god the day we die. We all have mothers and fathers of spirits. We haven't met yet on the earth, but we knew them in the past when we were not of the earth. And we'll meet them again after the earth, and it's not our mother and father. This is not a human form. We will look at it as alien. It's not alien. It's a mirror image of ourselves. Dance around the fire, Garrett. Dance around the fire and repel the world coming at you. You're wheeling a heavy truck. Can't be under these conditions. What if you're going down the road and that stoplight starts fucking coming at you? What if all of a sudden you look and there's a stoplight in your seat next to you? That can't be good. Because I was at the store the other day and there was no fucking saltine crackers empty. Because the trucker out there has a stoplight sitting next to him in the fucking passenger seat. Because he won't fucking do his ritualistic dancings. 
Your problem is you don't have to dance, you can make music. Maybe you need to have your, your actual physical guitar out of tune in a slight bit way. Maybe you need to learn, how about if you invent your own tuning? I've tried it. It helps. It helps the vibration. It helps the uh, circulation of, um, or what you call, Oh, I forget the fucking word. And that's the point, see? If I knew everything, I couldn't talk to you on the phone. Luckily, you don't want to know everything. Everything's trying to teach you it all, and you have to repel it. it. Seems to me that you're not repelling it. There's a hole. You gotta patch that hole and keep it from getting in. In the Bible, which man holds on to so closely, as a crutch. They say, people get it wrong when they say, I mean the Old Testament, they say, God has made us in His image. No, 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 no. Wrong. God said that I made you in our image. The word are. People go, oh, there's more than one? No, are. You, when you take a mirror and you hold it up to another mirror, what do you see? The reflection goes on forever. It's ourselves. Now, please, consider my words, your church of this Sunday. You'll be just fine. I think if you understand everything I'm telling you, you could bless yourself with some beer later on today. I told you to stop drinking, I know. I think you should only drink every Sunday as a, as a religion thing. You'll see what I'm talking about. And you'll know how much you drink. Whether it's little, lot, and it's not the kind of limits that you gauge by on your usual drinking efforts. You'll see what I'm talking about. Step down it. When you're done working today, get you some delicious beer. That's why I spend money on beer, and I don't settle for the cheap stuff. The cheaper stuff doesn't include all the soul, the soul clenching uh, 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 filtering. You don't need a soul uh, filtering alcoholic beer. One that's made with love, human emotion, tears, sweat, blood. And you can taste the difference in a beer that has that. One that was made with pride or a big factory machine. You want to be a fucking robot? Go get you some goddamn whatever the fuck. If you want to really touch the human bell and get that fucking chime ringing, get yourself a fucking good beer. One that was made with pure respect. There are some earthly tribes that have learned to disaccommodate, well, actually accommodate the things that I've been talking to you this morning with our mass. You see, radio waves, t television waves, they congest the atmosphere, and mere human souls cannot think correctly. We use crutches, technology destroys the earth, our crutches of technology keeps us stupid. We look at the third world peoples. We look at the tribes around the na around the earth and the different continents as oh, they're just merely not developed. They're underdeveloped. When it's the actual opposite, we are the underdeveloped. We have all these crutches of technology, all these machineries to help us. Now the Aborigines had figured it out. The American Indian had figured it out. Some tribes in Africa, each continent has their tribes and their people still. Hopefully the day does not exist where there, that runs out, because then the earth would be in trouble. Um, <clears throat> you know, we look at the American Indians or the uh, Aborigines as, like I said already, you know, oh, they just don't know. They're not developed. It's third world. Exact opposite. I'm recapping because this you need to know this. Now you cannot take your see. We are a malady of well, we're a secretion from this machinery that we invent of technology. We all got our phones. Now you need your phone. I understand you need it for your job. I'm not telling you to step out of the human race and go live in the woods. No, no, you're gonna get that wrong if you do so. I'm just saying when it's time to unplug, make sure you unplug properly. 
make sure you reset your soul and get it binded and rewinded and set to play on the Earth's circular, okay, because it's a circle. Like we're all falling in that circle. We think we're falling straight down, we're not, it's a circle. <clears throat> and sometimes we go in other ways. Hence is the strange weather. <clears throat> we can spin and then um, and the friction would come from another angle. Um, but it's those ones without technology that have the sails up in their minds that keep them going straight through the circle and around in a straight line. See, the technology, we're all over. We're zigzagging. We're nearly figure eight. This is not conducive with a perfect earthly human form.